Hi everyone, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do the Netflix book tag. So I'll link the original creator down below. Number one, recently watched The Last Book You Finished Reading. I had to go and look on Goodreads for this because I start loads of books, especially ebooks, and also Wattpads. I start those a lot. Wattpads actually do count on Goodreads. Some of them do, if they're on there. So according to my Goodreads, the last one that I marked as read was The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata, sorry. I have my laptop down there, so I'm looking in. I would really recommend this. I'm not sure how I managed to read it in like three days. Um, I really, really loved it. I think it was like 700 pages. I decided to just buy it on a whim because I read the sample and I really loved it. Number two, top picks, a book that was recommended to you based on a book that you've already read. This one I'm gonna go with all Mariana Zapata books because she's the queen of slow burn romance as everyone says. I always see love for her down my Twitter timeline. So I kind of wanna get into more of her books. And I'm really into romance at the moment. I go through phases. Recently added the last book that you bought. Um, again, I wasn't too sure because I buy a lot. I had to go through my Amazon orders list and the last one that I bought was The Deal by Elle Kennedy, which is in the Off Campus series. And I've heard this recommended so many times. Every time it's in a new adult recommendations video um, or post, I always see this series. And I have to admit, it's not as amazing as I thought it was gonna be. And I've kind of hit a rut because things have kind of happened and resolved themselves too soon before the end of the book, I feel like. So I've kind of hit a wall with that one, but I'll definitely finish it because I found that one really easy to read. Plus, I love the fake dating trope. I really hope my flatmate can't hear what I'm saying because this is kind of weird. Number four, popular on Netflix, a book that you have read that everyone's been talking about and a book that you haven't read that everyone's been talking about. So a book I have read is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I have so much love for this book. I can't even describe it. As soon as I read it, um, as soon as I even started reading it, I knew that it was going to become a favourite and I instantly went and put it on my Goodreads favourite shelf. This is one of those books that I feel like is very rare where it actually lives up to the hype and deserves all of the hype that it's getting and it's still on the New York Times bestsellers list, like, we stand a legend. So the book that I haven't read, I'm gonna go with Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake. And this I bought for 50p in a charity shop, if you'll excuse my bragging. <laughs> yeah, so I do really wanna read this and a lot of people are talking about this at the moment, whether it's good or bad, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews. So maybe this could be my next favorite series, but I think I'm really into standalones in this phase of my life. Five comedies, a funny book. So this one I'm gonna go with Kiss the Sky by Becca and Krista Ritchie. Um, this is another one where I saw it on my Twitter timeline and so many people were like raving about this series. This is a spin-off series of their original series. I think it's Addicted series or something. So I didn't realize when I bought this I didn't realise that it was a spin-off series, however I read it just fine um, and I don't think you have to have read the one before. So I just thought it was really funny, the way that the dialogue was written. City life. <laughs> so yeah, I just think the things that happen in it, so all the elements of a good story, the plot, the dialogue, the characters, they were all just really well done. Number six, dramas. A character who is a drama king or drama queen. I did not have to think hard about this one. For this one, I'm gonna have to go with Neil Justin from the All For The Game trilogy. He is quite possibly one of my favorite characters of all time. And it's very rare that my favorite character in a series is the main character. I can't count the amount of times that I've gone back and reread specific scenes simply because I love how Neil acts in them. In order to fly under the radar, he has to pretend to be a shy, kind of quiet kid, but he really isn't. He starts letting the dramatic side out of him. It's just the funniest thing ever. Like the first time that he rips into Rico on the TV show, just the funniest thing I've ever read. 
<laughs> and I'm laughing thinking about it now. <laughs> so if you know, you know, but the first book, The Fox Hole Court, is free on um, Kindle, so I would really recommend that. Animation, a book with cartoons on the cover. Um, I'm just going to go with The Wedding Date by Jasmine Gilroy. Um, I recently read this. I did enjoy it. Eight, watch again, a series or book that you want to reread. I'm going to go with Vampire Academy series because that is basically my entire <laughs> early teenhood, I would say. When I first started using the library, I used to get series out in bulk, read them all in a month. And in recent years, I have started reading the spin-off series, the Bloodline series, but I would really like to go back and reread the original series to see if I love it as much as I feel like I still do. At the same time, I don't want to taint the rosy image that I have of it in my heart. Nine documentaries, a non-fiction book you'd recommend to everyone. Obviously, I'm gonna have to say We Should All Be Feminists by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Literally, it's just 99p on Amazon, really short. It's essentially just an essay. I'm sure you can find it online somewhere. You could probably watch her, her TED talk that it's based off of. Essentially, it talks about really important points to do with feminism and some of it is quite simplified. So for me, it wasn't as amazing as everyone kind of hyped it up to be, but that's just because I study sociology. So I read this sort of thing all the time. So I picked apart things that the regular person wouldn't pick apart. It's just something that I've learned to do, which is good because that's what my degree wants me to do. And I guess I'm overly critical now of taking for granted concepts. However, I definitely think people should read it. And I don't read non-fiction a lot outside of my degree, but I think everybody should read this. So if you consider yourself a feminist, if you don't, if you're not sure what to call yourself, I really think that you should read it. Action and adventure, an action-packed book. I'm gonna go Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo, which is the second book in the Six of Crows duology. If you know much about this series, it's a heist book. So the entire plot is working towards, um, well, the heist. And everything just comes to fruition and all the loose ends are tied up. And I was just on the edge of my seat through the whole of this book. And finally, number 11, new releases, a book that you're excited for. Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli, which is the sequel to Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which we've all been loving because of the film that recently came out, and I also read it not long before that. I'm really excited for another fat character to be in the YA universe, and as a main character as well. And also there's bisexual rep which I'm really happy about. I'm a bit sceptical about some of the inferred storylines that I've seen, but I haven't read it, so I'm not gonna judge it, and I'm definitely going to read it when it comes out. So that was the Netflix book tag. I always fantasize about answering these, but in reality, I, I just can never think of what answers I would say for them. I know it's nicer when people have the actual book to show you, but clearly I'm back at uni now, so I don't have many of the books that I've read here because I tend to keep my pressing TBRs here and then mostly read ebooks that I have. Anyway, thanks for watching.